I'm gonna be making a decorative bottom for the next segmented bowl that I'm working on. I'm gonna be using cherry, walnut, and maple to make it. And to create that piece, I'm gonna use a small sled that my son made. It incorporates the miter gauge from our saw stop, and it sits nicely in there. And we use this miter set kit to accurately set our different angles. So in this case, I'm doing 30 degree angles. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move this out of the way, put this over here so you can see, you take one pin and you put it in zero, you take the other pin, you put it in 30, and then you take your miter gauge, drop it in the slot, and it sets that angle for you. So let's get started on that. We'll see how. We're gonna get started by ripping the walnut, cherry, and maple down to one inch strips. So here I'm cutting these one inch strips at 30 degree angles, and then you have to have them exactly one inch wide on your parallelograms that you make. And you need three different pieces to create these. So I've got these pieces cut out now. Um, you can see they fit nicely together. And I will put a link to a couple of wood turners that do some great videos. If you guys follow uh, Gary, his YouTube channel is the Papa 1947. Um, he has a great video on describing measurements and all kinds of detail if you wanna go into like the math and the angles and all that other stuff. Great video. Um, mine is super simple, 30 degree angle, one inch wide, cut one inch wide across here gives you these three identical parallelograms. Now I just got to, I, I gotta figure out how I want this layout to be. You know, the 80s kid in me, every time I see this, I think of Qbert. So that's kind of the pattern I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna build out one, two, three more or, or of these, make this a little bit bigger and then we'll fill in the circle around the outside. So I'm gonna cut the rest of the segments out. Well, the rest of the bowl is gonna be just a maple and walnut, 12 segments. So let me get this, this stuff ripped down and then we'll get to cutting into segments. So off camera, I completed ripping down the walnut and the maple. And as you can see, I began 
cutting the strips into the appropriate segment widths. And I'll complete that for all seven rings. So for this first ring, I didn't realize that my sled was off until after I cut the whole ring. So when you see this glued, you'll see it in a couple of pieces with some scrap wood poking up in between two halves. So what I'll have to do is get this, these two halves glued up and set. And then I'll sand the edge is flat on my belt sander and then I'll glue the two halves together. Not ideal, but I should have ran some scrap wood through to check. I didn't and like I said, I didn't have enough walnut to go back and cut another two inch wide section. So that's how we correct it. And it's not, it's not irrecoverable. It just adds an extra step into your glue up process. Well, there are all the rings on the base. So we'll let those sit overnight, get them all sanded smooth first thing in the morning, glued up, and hopefully turning by tomorrow afternoon. I may have said this in other videos, but adding this drum sander to my shop and my wood turning is a game changer for getting flat, even pieces. So I'm going to turn this in sections. My tools aren't quite long enough to do this all in one shot. And it's a little bit safer this way as well.
Well, all the sanding's done. A lot of hand sanding on this one. A couple mistakes that I've been trying to fix. So now I'm going to give it an alcohol wipe down. Call the stuff done that I can get done. Finish this bowl up. Like I said, I will be using Axe Abrasive Paste and Axe uh, Polishing and Restoration Wax to complete this. I have a discount code. I'll leave that on the screen, and I'll thank Tom over there at Axe for sending me out this kit. If you guys use my code, you get 15% off at discount. I just love the way this wood comes alive once you apply the polish on here. The colors get so deep and awesome looking. There we go. Yep, no more coming off. That's when you know you've got all your, you're done with your paste. Put it on a clean spot and nothing comes off. Just like that. There's a little bit, but it's significantly less. That looks friggin' amazing. Freaking amazing. Look at that orange on there. Ooh. Orange and cherry, orange and walnut, orange and maple. Bam. This thing looks beautiful. Let's get some wax on there and finish this bad boy up. Well, there you have it. Bowl's all finished. I think this inside looks awesome. Walnut, cherry, maple. You can see from the backside a little bit better. Got that Osage orange on the outside. And then the bowl itself, very simple. Walnut maple, 12 segments per ring. It's about 10 inches tall, four and a half inches wide. Backwards, 10 inches wide, four and a half inches tall. I really appreciate you guys sticking around with me so far. Um, this was a fun turn. I love the way this base turned out. I'm totally gonna be incorporating this design into a future piece, probably something flat like a plate or a serving dish or something along those lines. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Have a great one.